What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony. Uh, some of you may know me as 410 Auto Tech. I know it's been a while, but today we're going to be doing a review of the CRP 129E brought to you by some by Launch Products. Uh, they they come out with a various different styles of uh, scan tools from your basic code reader to I believe this one is more of your intermediate uh, scan tool because it does some uh, pr it does some reset uh, features on it and does some graphing on there for your more experienced DIY mechanic or even uh, a technician that just wants a secondary uh, scan tool that's cost efficient not uh, not too far out of price range I believe this is about 243 right now on Amazon. Uh, I'll be sure to drop a link down below to check it out, and I believe the one that uh, you can click on the link, and it comes with a uh, tire pressure monitor relearn tool as well. So we're going to be doing pretty much just a quick unboxing and then a quick overview, and we'll just go over a couple key features about it, and hopefully this will help you out if you are in the market of buying, looking at buying one of these. So I hope um, I hope I'll be able to answer all, any of your questions. So. Let's hop right into the video. Let's check it out. All right, so here you go. Creator Professional 129E. It is touchscreen, uh, brought to you by Launch. On the back right here, it tells you pretty much all the features for domestic Asian European vehicles from 1996 and newer. OBD2 port, uh, reads and clears ETCs, engine, automatic transmission, ABS, and uh, the SRS system supports function resets of the oil light, uh, EPM, SAS, TPMS, ETC and it's touch, like I said, it's touch screen. The screen is about five inches. Wi Fi updates, five inch, 720p IPS screen. Vehicle battery displays your vehicle uh, battery voltage display and built in rechargeable lithium ion. So it does charge via the um, OBD2 port and it has an, uh, an op optional uh, charging port just to charge off the wall as well. So here you go, when it, you first open it up, uh, here it is, and you can see the screen size. It's pretty much the screen, but then it's a little bit smaller, it looks like. Uh, here's your OBD2 port. It looks like it's like it screws right on top. And then I believe here is your uh, charger from uh, your USB to your the back. It plugs right into the scan tool. It looks like it comes with a pretty much a diagnostic bag to carry around and all your owner's manual a little port maybe for something else you can hold um, there's your bag so we're gonna I just remembered I'm gonna charge it real quick so I'm gonna pause the video I'm gonna charge it real quick and then do some of the updates uh, pretty much it's a 2019 GM uh, Colorado that's your uh, auto scan so you don't have to put the year make model. It'll after you do the auto detect, it'll bring you to a screen like this. It'll tell you any DTC that you do have, and I guess you would just hit enter if it does have it, and you just I guess follow the prompts. Automatic. So right here you have uh, all your information that you want. Read DTC, clear fault, uh, read data stream. Uh, let's see what kind of data, uh, briefly, what it gives you. Uh, engine data, camshaft. So it pretty much gives you a, looks like a whole lot of information that you do need for diagnosing. Um, let's just go to somewhere basic. Misfire. So you got data one, data two. You have a whole bunch of pits that you want to look at. There's nothing wrong with the struct, so we'll just look at something quick. If you want to graph. This is all the options it gives you for a uh, misfire. That's 83 uh, different PIDs that you can look up and hook up to it. You can select them all or unselect them all. Uh, here you go. Here's your data. Live count. Zero because there's nothing wrong with the truck. You can record it uh, and then show it to a customer as well. So that's a good added feature. Uh, you can do a report. If it has a fault, then you can print it out. Send it to yourself via Wi-Fi, it looks like. So here you would count if you want to graph them, I believe. Hit both of them. Hit OK. There's your uh, live graph. Uh, um, we'll go somewhere else briefly. All right, guys. So here we're back. Here's your uh, home screen. Uh, diagnose where we're just at. Uh, OBD. Um, so here you got all your features. You have all or your history. It actually, I believe it lo looks like it records your history. Uh, you have at the top where you can... Uh, 
type in, I guess, maybe a year make model. It gives you all these different vehicles to be able to diagnose, which is really nice. Um, you can hit auto detect, you can hit demo. Uh, your OBD will do your check engine light or your pretty much your code reader portion. You reset, it gives you your brake reset, oil light reset, SAS reset, uh, electronic throttle reset, tire pressure monitor system reset. Pretty cool. Um, gives you a graph on your battery voltage. I wish it would have give you actual number down below somewhere, but um, it'll just tell you by the bar graph. Your uh, I am readiness module. Your I am readiness. It'll tell you pretty much, I guess, if you're ready to pass emissions. So, multiple, multiple have been completed, some are not ready, so you would have to drive until they turn screen to see if you would pass emissions on your own. And some of them are not reported, some are unsupported, I believe maybe by this by the vehicle. You do all your updates right here. Uh, you have to be connected to Wi-Fi, so it's not going to show anything because I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. Your data, you can record, diagnostic report, DTC lookup, um, some firmware fix, some images, I believe. You can maybe take a screenshot. Uh, settings. You mess around all the settings that you need, uh, all the settings that you want to change or look up. All right, then. all right, guys, there you have it. I hope you guys really did enjoy the video. Um, just let me know down below what you guys want me to try to diagnose with a car in the future with the scan tool. Because, I mean, I know a lot of people that, that look into these videos that they want all the information as much as they can until they actually, you know, they figure out if they want to buy it. Because, you know, you want if you, you if you want to buy something, you like to have it on your in your hands. But the next best thing is to uh, on YouTube probably and to look at other people, get some uh, information from other people, some more experienced people that are you know uh, familiar with the product and have a little just a little bit more information than you can get just by reading off the you know the website and just to see for your own eyes if it's something that you would would like and stuff like that. So I hope you guys got as much as information just on uh, this basic. Uh, quick unboxing key features you know the scan tool stay uh consistently charging while you're plugged into the dlc and also has like the extra battery cable makes it nice that little carrying couch that it comes with it is nice and a little added feature just to be able to move it and possibly not scratch the screen stuff like that uh, so i think that was a nice feature as well uh, i do like that it has a couple of the resets uh, I want to get more involved in it, so I want to get some more information off of that. Uh, just, like I said, just if you if you want to see something, let me know down below, and I'll try to include that as as best I can in the next video to give a more overall view and some more detailed views of what this can this uh, scan tool can do. If it's something you would be able to want to buy, and I, would, I you know I like, that's why I made this channel to try to help you guys out, make some to sit, help you make some decisions if you know on tools. So I hope you liked the video. Drop a like, drop a comment down below, and uh, until next time, this is going to be 410 Auto Tech out.